Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Investor Show as always. This is your host, the Prince of Investing, Prince Dice, coming to you guys and girls all the way live from the beautiful state of Denver, Colorado. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, comment, and share button. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give it a thumbs up anyway. But if you got questions, drop me a comment below or shoot me an email. Emails in the description box. But as always, I don't have a lot of time, and I definitely know you guys and girls don't have a lot of time, so we're going to jump straight into it. So as you can see in this description box, we're going to go over spreads, right? Spread trading. Some people get kind of confused with net debit, net credit even, and that's something that kind of confused me too. So we're going to walk straight through it. Now here I'm going to go to trade. Then I'm going to go down here to up on the options. We're just going to do single order. Now as this comes up, you got you have a single order, right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's say if I wanted to do a uh, vertical call spread or something like that. I'm just throwing something up here for Google. G-O-O-G, hit the symbol lookup. And what we're going to do, we're going to put in, let's say we brought one contract on each side. May 18th, uh, what you call it, uh, expiration, same strike. So as you can see here, you have a call on each side of whatever case may be. One you're buying open, one you're selling open, right? When you look at this, you're going to have a, uh, you got to look at the bid and ask of each, each one. A credit is when something is coming into your account. Money that's going to be coming into your account, right? Now, a debit, if I had a debit on this particular one, there's money that's going to be going out of my account. So, for prime example, in this particular situation, when I'm buying to open, you have to do the math. I'm buying this. I'm spending this money to open this. But I'm also selling something that I don't have, so I have a credit. So, let's say, for prime example, I go into a store and I buy something for, uh, let's say if I sell something for $100. Let's say if I went into a store and I sold something to the store for $100. But then again, I went into the store and I brought something for $90. So that would leave a net debit of $10 because, you know, it's a $10 difference. I gave the store something. The store, uh, I gave the store uh, a pack of chewing gum for $100. I'm just throwing it out there. And then I go into the store and I want to buy a soda for $90, right? If I did that in the case, the store, they'll say, well, since you gave us this for $100 and you're buying this for $90, that'll need, that will leave a, a net credit coming to me. They will give me $10, right? Makes sense? Because they will owe me $10. But it would be the reverse way. Let's look at a net debit. Let's say if I went into a store and I gave them $90 of, I gave them a pack of chewing gum for $90. Then I went in and then I brought something for, a, uh, I went and brought uh, the, a soda for $100. That means it's $10 left over that I owe the store. That would be a net debt, debit. So that would be money that would be going out. I owe them for this particular thing. How does it relate to what you're talking about? I know that was a crazy example. But how does it relate to what you're talking about? So on one leg, you're buying something for, let's say, $1,000. One contract may cost you $1,000. But then you're selling a contract you may not own, or whatever the case may be, for $1,200, right? So that leaves a $200 deficit that you may either may be a credit that may be coming to your account or a debit that may be going away from your account. So that's the way to think about it. Now, TD Ameritrade kind of does it automatically. Other platforms like E-Trade, as of now that I've seen, doesn't do it automatically. You kind of got to separate it or whatnot. But you can go in here, you can put it at market, right? And you can come down here at the bottom here and it'll tell you what the bid and the ask is for this vertical call spread that I have on. Now, if you went to a net credit, you have your premium here that you want to put in or whatnot. But this is kind of letting you know the net credit is money that's coming to your account. The net debit is money that's going away from your account. So that's something you need to think about. And I hope that kind of makes more sense um, to you. But if you got questions or anything like that, drop a comment below. Until the next video, podcast, cartoon, or whatever you see me do crazy around the globe, peace, be safe, I'm out, thank you.